It's that time again, it's pork openings time. And today we have the Team Up Elite Trainer Box. Um, so yeah, I'm a bit I'm about a week late or whatever. But as you can see here, this is the newest set, Pokemon Team Up. Um which, you know, as you can probably tell, the whole gimmick is that there are some cards with Team Up Pokemon. Now, as we look at the back, these are the contents you'll get and stuff, which we'll go into in a second. That is the blurb, if anyone wants to like pause the video to read it or whatever. Um, yeah, it's it's kind of cool. It just describes how, you know, certain team-ups... Obviously, Zekrom and Pikachu uh, are kind of the poster team-up, I suppose. Um, and I think possibly the most valuable GX in this set. So, crack it open. Slide it out. And, as always, we get that lovely booklet. Um... Which, actually, yeah, if you fold it out, I imagine, gives a, hey, there we are, slightly better thing. Uh, and inside, um, ooh, we get some promo artwork and stuff. Ah, yes, Gengar and Mimikyu, there we are, that, that's the one I'd really like to pull. Um, and yeah, it just, like, focuses on some of the cards and stuff, and I think it gives you a card list, there we are. Don't really want to look at those. Um, although, yeah, I do know that all of the team-up cards in this set uh, do come in full art, I think, as well. And, as always, this thing, when you peel it off and get all that weird sticky glue off, um, unfolds to show you four bits of pack art. So that's the Pikachu and Zekrom, Gengar and Mimikyu, Celesaur, as it's being called, Celebi and Venusaur, and Eevee and Snorlax. Elax. X lax. No, don't think that's gonna work. Um yeah, and these are all is really nice. Actually I may may display this on my wall at some point. Um right, and yeah, so here we have the bulk though. It's really blue, so not bluer than the outside pack. Ah Ooh, they've kind of updated this then. Nice, because there used to be two little um cardboard things that like wouldn't always stay up and they'd break easily and stuff, so inside. I'm not going to take them out of the packaging. Uh, we have a poison and a burn counter to add on to your cards, obviously. And wow, that! That is really nice, because every other GX token has just had, like, GX and black and stuff. But this is, like, Pikachu and Zekrom themed. That's really nice. And, of course, these are all hard plastic, very high-quality stuff. That's why you get these Elite Trainer boxes. You always get really good stuff. And these are the die that come with them. So that's the um, set symbol for Team Up. That is the like main dice, which is very nice. Black with yellow. Um, I'm a sucker for black and yellow colour schemes anyway. Yeah, yellowy black kind of dice. They look actually quite nice. They're kind of like tie-dyed dice or whatever. Um, right, and on... Okay, wait, no. There we are. So on this side then... We get... Oh, okay, that doesn't quite work, because it's actually... Right. <laughs> okay, not as good as I thought it was, then, because it doesn't quite work. Okay, whatever. Um, and, of course, we have little divider things you can put in here to divide, like, your decks or whatever, I suppose. We can store decks in here. I wouldn't, personally. I think deck boxes are much better for that, but whatever. Uh, let's see. Let's grab all this stuff. Another divider. Another divider. We have a cord card, which I'm going to keep for myself. Another divider. We have five of each energy. Um, <laughs> I think I've bought enough Elite Trainer Boxes now. I could probably run two full decks of a monotype. And, of course, we have the sleeve. 65 of them, I believe. It's a very nice sleeve. I'll be keeping these to the side, actually, in case I pull a particularly good... Um, full art or something. May not at all, but hey, you know, put those to the side. And of course, the other side, this is the most important, and arguably the uh, reason it's so expensive, is the packs. We've got Gengar, we've got Pikachu, Celesaur, and we've got that one. Lovely. Ooh! Are they giving us one of each, finally? Yes! Okay! Bought a ton of Elite Trainer boxes before, where I'll get like three, three of one pack design and one of the other, and it's a bit weird. Anyway, I'm going to clear up uh, everything in the background, and I'll be right back. All right, I am back. I've set everything up in an appealing manner. And it's time to break into these packs. Crack into these packs? I feel cracking a pack isn't quite correct, because, like, you don't crack them, you...
peel them, if anything. I'm going to open one pack at least of each design to be kind of nice. Right, we have that code card to the side, four to the front, fire energy. Oh, oh, yo, <laughs> okay, all right, off to a good start. What cards will we get? Yo, is that Hidmon chan? That... Okay, that's <laughs> that's a. I have never seen that. Wow, that's a very interesting take on Hitmon Chan there. Uh, it's actually one of my favourite Pokemon. It's pretty cool. We have Grass Memory for Silvalli. Oh, we have Persian. Man, not seen Persian recently. Although, I don't know, I've, I've not opened many packs recently either. We have a very stoic Pidgey. That is a reprint, I'm pretty sure, of another set. But I'm always happy to get Dratini cards. Uh, we have a Ponyard. Oh, yo, Alolan Grimer. My f one of my favourite Alolan forms. Uh, Alolan Muck is phenomenal. We have a Ponyta. Our reverse is a Tyranitar. Nice, okay. So that's like... That's a rare reverse, I think. And our rare... Oh, is... Oh, Charizard! Yo, non-hollow. Bit of an interesting choice. Um... Yeah, very nice. Yo, that, like, that art is fantastic. Don't think there's any other Pokemon in that artwork there, uh, unfortunately. But obviously I think the team, the team up thing, the point of, like, the team of cards is they're kind of the darlings of the set, you know? They're the ones you want to get. Right, well, that was pretty darn good. I'm opening them from my favourite team ups, uh, from my least favourite to my favourite team ups. Um, not that I dislike Eevee or Snorlax, but... You know, the other ones are pretty cool. I'm really hoping they keep this up with other cards in the set. Uh, like, you know, uh, with, well, with upcoming sets then, like team-ups. Even if it's just like three or four a set or something, that'd be really cool. We have an Electric Energy. Ooh, Rapid Ash to go with the Ponyta. That's a really nice looking Rapid Ash card, actually. Quite basic, but uh, quite artistic. We've got a re return label, not recon label. Ah, it's written in uh, Pokey language, I believe. Or maybe it's not. No. Okay, it's not. Uh, ooh, we have Kangaskhan. Yeah, that's another card I've not seen in a while. Very, like, Kanto-focused. Uh, yeah. <laughs> and there we have. We have one of the Kanto starters. Ah, oh, it's a really cute Squirtle, actually. Ooh, that means Blastoise is in the set as well. Nice. We have a Bronzo. I don't know what's going on in the background there. Um, interesting one. We have a Klefki, the Pokemon that everyone hated from X and Y, not Sun and Moon, I was about to say Sun and Moon. Oh, we have the Stoic Pidgey again. No, that's not reverse. Hey, that's the reverse. No, it's not. Oh, okay. Uh, we have Emolga. Sorry, I'm really bad with... Hey, there we are. There's the reverse. Metal Goggles. Those goggles are pretty... That looks very Ant-Man, doesn't it? Looks a bit like the Ant... No, maybe it's just me. And our rare is a Mr. Mime. Ah, oh, that's a very cute Mr. Mime. Which are two words I never thought I'd put together, really. Yeah, I hear he's getting quite a lot of play um, for decks and stuff. I think he does stuff for supporters or whatever. Or he, like, blocks supporter cards or whatever. Right, let's crack into this Zekrom and Pikachu pack. Will we get a team-up card? Uh, so far, pulls have been... Very average, um, you know, but I've got faith. I've heard people have pulled some pretty great stuff. Uh, for the front, Psychic Energy. Nope, okay then. We, ooh, Farfetch'd, yo! Man, they're really bringing back the, like, obscure Kanto Pokemon, aren't they? That's very nice, okay. Ooh, nice, we have Cosmomium, Co Cosmium, Cos yeah, Cosmium, I think. Um, hey, Dragonair, nice. Okay, if I can pull a Dragonite or a Blastoise. <gasps> Yo, the Mareep line is in here. Okay, then. Okay, screw everything else. If I can pull a Flaffy and an Ampharos, I am done. Uh, done in in the good sense, not... Oh, that's a interesting bit of Charmander art. They've really gone for, like... 
slightly weird kind of takes on Pokemon, haven't they? Because the Hitmonchan card was really weird as well. We ha Ooh, Hot Edge! Hey, my boy! It's been a while. Ooh, we have Pidgeotto looking kind of still as stoic. It looks like a, um, the ending to an anime. You know, there'd be like the title things there. Maybe the, the, the sky would uh, go through like the stages of the day and stuff and Pidgeot uh, Pidgeotto would stay there. Maybe turn into Pidgeot right at the end or something. Uh, we have a Nidoran male. Oh, yo, okay, okay. Reverse Aerodactyl. Very much digging this. Although, Aerodactyl is a normal type, is he? I'd have thought he'd be fighting. I mean, because fighting is what rock Pokemon are. And we have a Nidoking. Yo, very, very slick Nidoking artwork there. That's really cool. Nice. Right, well, we've got three for three in normal res so far, non holo res. Uh, you know, not, not the best start, but we have five packs left. And we do have Gengar and Mimikyu up next. Um, I, for one, have faith in this pack. Uh, I have faith in all of them. Also, gotta gotta give a shout out to um, all of the packs kind of having their own colour palette, in a sense. Because, like, that's very brown and blue. That's very green. Very black and yellow. This is very, like, pink-ish. Oh, ooh, okay. Uh, sorry, I showed the code card there. Um, which means we're not getting a hollow in this pack, because uh, I learned the hard way that things with colour on, um, you know, the the packs with like um, strong colour, usually green, means that you don't get a hollow, which is, well, hey, you know, I don't mind. Oh, yay, okay, we got Cosmium and Hitmonchan again. Ooh, we have Jasmine, um, Gen 2, I think Jasmine was. I think, God, who was Jasmine? She was a gym leader, wasn't she? But I can't remember. Oh, very cool magic up there. Yeah, this is very Kanto focused. Actually, that's the point. I'm going to start counting any any non Kanto Pokemon. So we had Cosmium at the start. Ah, okay. We have Helioptile. So we're going for like Gen One and then Six and Seven. Oh, I've seen that art. That artwork of Meowth before. Not the background, but that's like default Meowth. Is that the Ken Sugimori art from um, Fire Red and Leaf Green era? When he like redrew them and stuff. I think it is. Maybe I'm wrong. We have Nidoran Mail again. We have... Oh, okay. Reverse Hollow Klefki. Always get, like getting the steel types in Reverse Hollow. And we have a Starmie. Right. Looking very nice. Cool. Right. Well... <laughs> Not, not the greatest video so far, um, you know, in, in terms of pulls, I've not blown anything out of the water, but hey, we're only halfway through. It could turn out anyway. All of these packs could have full RGXs in them. Really, ultimately, they're not going to. Um, I mean, if I can pull a hollow, I'd be kind of happy. If I could pull a GX, I'd be very happy. Um, but, you know, we'll see. Right, uh, let's begin with the grass energy, shall we? Ooh, yo, Ingo and Emmett. Ah, oh, the subway guys uh, from Gen 5. That's cool. Okay, then. I've never seen them in card form before. Yo, there we are. I've got the whole Char uh, Charizard line, then. That's a very cool-looking Charmeleon. Yeah, that man, I'm, I'm really digging, like, the weird art of this. We have Morgan... Oh, is that the um, Battle Tower thing at the end of Sun and Moon? Is that the woman from that? Wow, genuinely, like, they're naming naming people that are, like, really obscure. We have Cosmog, because, of course, we do. Cosmog, so adorable. Uh, we have that Magikarp again. We have Zorua, uh, Ataman's legs, or is that Post? Looks a bit like Gardevoir's legs, but there's three of them, so it doesn't... Ooh, yo, <laughs> that's... That's really cool. Where the hell is Lavatar? What's going on there? That's... Ah, see, and, like, the thing in his stomach matches the diamond. Wow. Yeah, really weird art this time. Uh, Sidex is less weird. He's just having an existential crisis in some water. We've all been there. Uh, we've got Panchan, uh, which I believe was the art from the X and Y base set 
thing because I opened an entire booster box of that and we did not get a hollow again. Okay, a lowland executor though. All right. <laughs> oh man, this artwork is great. Nice. Yeah. Okay. And and it's a dragon type, of course, because a lowland executor is a dragon for some reason. Um, right. Can Celebi bring us some redemption? Uh, let's see. Let's crack this open. Will these last three packs be filled with gold? Who knows? We got that really cool Larvitar card again. Uh, we have a Psychic Energy, a Dragonair. Oh, right, the battery's running really low. I'm going to go through this pack really fast. Toracat. We have Brock's Grit. Yeah, boy, we have Larvitar, Psyduck. We have Vulpix, Ponyard. Uh, oh, Alolan Geodude, I'm very happy with that. We have a reverse uh, Brox Grit, very nice. And we have an Alolan Muck, uh, non hollow, regular rare. Right, very nice, cool. I will go and grab my charger and be right back. All right, I'm back, everything is plugged in, and uh, we have two packs left. Part of me, right, part of me is kind of wondering, maybe. Uh, I wonder if I'll just get no hollows at all, like not even, you know, like I've, I've given up hope on a GX or whatever. Um, but like part of me kind of is thinking, you know, what if I just don't get any hollows at all and this turns out to be the worst Elite Trainer Box I've ever opened. Um, so we'll <laughs> we'll see how that pans out. Yo, Fluffy! Oh yeah, that's not the worst one because I got the Marie line. And hey. I really like cute cheap. Uh, I don't have the Marie Blaine. What the fuck am I on about? No, I don't have Ampharos. Okay. Um, we have Jinx. Cool. Thank you, Jinx. Uh, we got Kangaskhan. Ooh, Vullaby. Okay. Very nice. We have a Weedle. Aw, oh, very cute. We have Helioptile. Ooh, I never noticed the background before. But yeah, it's got little yellow bow tie things. Nice. We have a execute. Very cute. Ah, Ferro Seed. Yo, I really like Ferro Thorn. Um, can we pull a Ferro Thorn? There we are. That's that's my hopes. We have a dangerous drill. Be wary of that drill. And our non-hollow rare is a Blastoise and is non-hollow. Wow. Um, we're one pack off, boys. <laughs> one pack. Well. That's cool though, that's, that's a cool bit of artwork. Um, I will say, like, you know, I know a lot of people will put packs, they, you know, just get regular rare down as being eh. But honestly, like, some of the artwork, even for, like, the non hollow rares, is really, really nice. Um, pulled a few before, and I'm just like, man, why wasn't that a hollow? Right, this is our last one. Will Mankey bring us luck? Will this be Dark Energy? No, it won't. It'll be the opposite. We have Pokemon Communication. Another Flaffy. Ooh, Omanite. Hello. Uh, yeah, nice. I really like the Omanite line. Mankey, what's up, my dude? Pancham from the X and Y set. Ferrothoseed. Uh, Pidgeotto looking glum. Charmander looking quite pleased with himself, I suppose. Yo! Okay! Okay! Right, last pack magic, boys! Black Market! And it's a Prism Star! Alright! I don't know, um... Still not worked out what Prism Stars are exactly, like, in terms of rarity, but... Oh my god, that's a good-looking card! Ah, oh, Will the card behind this be a regular non holo rare? I think it will be. It will be, and it's a Pangoro. Right, well. Well, this has been a disappointing Elite Trainer box. Um, that, I'll, I'll show you all the, the good cards I've got. Right, well, thank you very much for watching. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll leave a playlist of the videos which have pulled better stuff. Um, and a random video at the bottom there, and a subscribe button if you want to, but you don't have to. Right, thanks for sitting around. Um, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, this is almost 20 minutes. Uh, if I could gift you back time, I would.